This is the FlipQ application, and it's divided into different areas. A neat feature of the application is that we can scale the windows, so we can make them bigger or smaller depending on what we're trying to do at the time. And we can scale them either taller or shorter, left or right. And then when we're done working on that particular area, we can scale them back down again so we have more room to work on the area that we're interested in. Along the top of the application is the menu bar. And here you have your commonly used functions, for instance, like opening files, printing from the application, your cut, copy, and paste commands, an undo command, you have your font dialog box that allows you to choose any true type font as well as the font style, the size, and the color. We can go through and change the background color as well. We'll change that to a little bit lighter blue. And you can select a bold, italic, or underline directly from the menu bar without going to the font dialog box. Next to that, you can either choose left, center, or right justified text. And then we have adjustable margins, so we can pull the margins in on the left and right to make the text go more down the center of the screen, which will reduce eye travel in your talent. Below the menu bar, we have a full RTF text editor. And let's shrink these other ones down here so we have a little bit more room to look at that. The RTF text editor allows you to go through and remove, change, add, whatever you want to. So you can make some last minute changes very quickly. It also allows you to go through and change you know, how the fonts look. So we'll take that and we'll select a different font, for instance, uh, Arial Black instead of Arial Narrow. And we'll make that uh, gray and we'll make that a little bit smaller. So we can go ahead and change the characters on a, on a character by character basis. We can go through and we can scroll all the way through with the scroll bar on the right hand side to quickly go through uh, the entire script from beginning to end to go to a particular area. And the indicator here will tell you exactly where you are on the script. Below the RTF text window is an area for generating shortcuts or cue points. So for instance, let's go to the top of the script and we'll put our cursor here and we'll uh, go ahead and add a cue point called start, which will be the beginning of the script and we'll select S. So now whether we're in the editing mode or in the scrolling mode, when I press S, it will instantly go to the beginning of the script where I set that cue point. And we can go back through and we can add another one. We'll go back down here and we'll add that one, and we'll call that uh, VGA because that's what they're talking about there, and we'll select V. So now when we go ahead in either scrolling or editing mode, uh, hit the V key, it will immediately go to that particular area of the script. Next to the shortcuts is a run list editor, and what we can do here is we can add scripts, and we can add as many as we like. We can go ahead and add three different kinds of scripts. We can add uh, text scripts, which would be a .txt file, we can add RTF files, or rich text format files, or we can bring in standard Word document, or .doc files. And this allows us to quickly just pick a script rather than going up to the file load and so forth. So if we have a number of short scripts, we can do that very quickly. Now we're going to go through and we're going to scale that back down a little bit and look at the bottom settings. This area here controls the sensitivity and speed of the mouse. We have a slider here which will select the initial speed of the scrolling. Uh, this slider here will select the sensitivity, or how fast and slow the mouse responds to doing the scrolling. And below this, we have a position for our cue marker. The cue marker is a small marker that uh, goes on the scrolling portion of the screen, and it basically gives the talent uh, an area where they should be reading from. And we can select that to be either a little bit higher or lower in the frame. We can also choose how we want the mouse cl uh, clicks to work, whether we want that to toggle the stop and stopping of the scrolling, or whether we want the left and right mouse buttons to select uh, the shortcuts. A left mouse key would go to the previous shortcut. Uh, a right mouse click would go to the next shortcut. The display settings here allow us to, to set how we see the text when we go into scrolling mode. On the primary display, or which would be the laptop's display, we can either show that as normal or mirrored text. We also have an option here to make, when you go into scrolling mode, the size of the screen quarter size. And on a slower machine, uh, this will help uh, the scrolling go a little bit smoother because essentially when you're scrolling, it's a full screen animation. So if we move uh, the operator's display down to only a quarter of the screen, it makes the scrolling a little smoother. Below that, we have our secondary output, which would be the uh, VGA output from your laptop. And we can choose whether that's normal scrolled or mirror scrolled. And on the bottom here we have disable DirectX. 
Uh, if you have a really older machine, like a Windows 98 machine, this will allow those machines to work because uh, DirectX is most commonly used with the Windows 2000 and XP. Well, that's an overview of FlipQ, and we strongly suggest that you go through and download uh, the free functional demo. It has all of the functions that we saw here, and the only thing it does not allow you to do is to load or save text. And we think you'll agree that FlipQ is just an outstanding teleprompter program. If you have any questions, please give us a call or send us an email. Thanks for your attention.